So in this video what I'm going to talk about um, is the fact that when you've created a form and you've posted it on Haiku as we can see here if I go to the Screencast-O-Matic page I posted my video the students watch the video then they submit the video response underneath and um, let me fill one out really quickly right now um, Ben, fill it out. So, technology beyond my wildest dreams. No more about embedding in haiku. Okay, so simply we have a name. We have two responses. We're going to submit the form. Now, if I go back to this form, um, as of now, we have not set up a spreadsheet um, that will show us the responses. So if we look here, it says choose response destination and then accepting responses. We are currently accepting responses but we have yet to choose response destinations. So if I select this, what I always do is I just use the name of the form and then it will just create a default called responses in parenthesis. So I'm going to create that. Now if I go to um, my Google Drive in recent and I refresh that page, um, here we have video response responses and it's kind of created a spreadsheet. What I did earlier on before I set this video up is I made two responses and then there's the one I just made under the name of Ben Franklin. I can drag and open up these responses. But what you can see is you have a time stamp for students so you know exactly when they turn their homework in. You will have collected their at mytusd.org um, username which is in fact their email. You have their name um, last name first so we can quite quickly go in and sort A to Z and you have the responses and what I like about this is in one column I can quickly go through and all the questions that they've asked that require further clarification I can take those on board and I can hopefully address those questions in class tomorrow so um, this is a great way of holding students accountable it's a great way for finding out when they turn their work in it's a great way to track their email because I could grab this column copy and paste it and then paste those into an email myself to send an email out to my students um, I can sort it A through Z because I took their last name first their first name last I can see how they summarized what they saw and I can see if I need to um, um, address any uh, clarification issues or, or um, simply wonderful comments that students have made the following day in class so I hope you find that uh, embedding a Google form and then taking the resultant spreadsheet um, can really help you in terms of holding students accountable and also directing your classroom um, presentation the following day in class using Screencast-O-Matic and Google Forms. What a combination!